All right, welcome back, everyone. We got a lot of you blue updates for today. And um, I was on a podcast, Linux After Dark, and I will leave um, a link in the in the description below. Uh, check it out, and I kind of go into why we're doing all of this stuff. Uh, but in the meantime, for today, I'm going to talk about some of the updates that we've been working on for the past week. Uh, so first of all, the website is ublue.it, like you blew it, like point at your computer and say, it's time to you blew it. Um, in there, you'll kind of see some of our features, what we're trying to do here, and a list of images and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so you can check that. But what I want to talk about today is in the GitHub repos. So when I started the project, I started with this thing called base, which is kind of a, a first effort by me to kind of figure out to see if the, if this would work at all. Um, and it did. And over time, as we tried to do more stuff, add new versions of releases, add more desktops, it became apparent that you got to kind of design it from that, from the scratch. That's exactly what we've been doing. So the new uh, image is called main instead of base. Base is kind of a, a weird name because everybody calls something base. And secondly, Fedora has an image called base, which is um, an immutable base, but without a desktop. And that's what you're going to want to use if you want to um, start your own package of a desktop that we don't already have or whatever. So that's, that's, that's cool. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm pretty tired today. We've been, we've been working pretty hard on this. So, uh, in this, you will find that the container file is a little bit more complicated than before. Let me go ahead and close that up. Um, but we are templating out the versions and, and the desktops and things like that. Uh, but there are a few things that you can check out. So, um, am I looking in the right place? Yeah, this is, this is the right place. Um, there is build.sh, I think, which will kind of show you uh, more about what we're doing. But what's important here is for you, if you're going to be deriving of this from this is packages.json, which lets us declare what packages we want installed on all of the images and we can exclude ones from other ones. So for example, GNOME tweaks only makes sense on GNOME. So we'll, we'll install that on the, on this main base image. Um, and then there's things that we're going to want on a lot of things. So we need these kernel devil to build NVIDIA drivers and things like that. And then we want to include all of the hardware acceleration stuff. So you don't have to care about it. Now, if you're just using, we're just using FlatHub anyway. So like your codecs are all taken care of, uh, but whatever. Uh, and then we're including MV top, which actually works for all GPUs, not just NVIDIA GPUs. So that's going to be handy to have. Um, and you can see here, we could do per version packages as well. Uh, so that is very handy. And what happens with this image does is it consumes an other, another image, which is where, where, where is it? Am I in the right one second? Um, here it is. Um, we split off another thing that we're calling config. Now config used to be called UDEV rules uh, to give you a, a quick TLDR on that is UDEV rules was just a repo that we had uh, that had a bunch of text files in it. Usually uh, the rules to like make your controller work on Linux. If you've ever installed the steam flat pack and it fires up and you don't have that, it gives you a warning that you don't have that installed. Uh, that make, makes no sense to me, but, um, we needed to have that because uh, there's a lot of useful things that you can put in UDEV rules. So there is a project called Game Devices UDEV that's just people keeping track of all the UDEV rules for all of this extra hardware. Uh, and while the long-term uh, solution is people just submitting these to system, uh, system D, which people are doing, in the meantime, this works for us. So we're going to yank those. We're going to grab... Uh, Google Titans, USB keys, UDEV rules, because I need that. Uh, open RGB rules. Uh, you still have to set up the software, but we could provide the rules for you to make it nice and easy. UB key, uh, UDEV rules. And uh, this one's a special one from Kyle. If you have this wounding keyboard, your UDEV rules are included. Um, so this is just a repository full of text files. And what we do is we hold those, but we also build an RPM there for you if you want to consume it that way. And then what you do is in your... Uh, custom flavor that you're making for yourself, 
you could just use this uh, to consume all the things that are in here. And if you only want the UDEV rules, you can do that. But if you want the full experience, you also want the update services. Those are the service units that automatically update your fat packs and set up RPM OS tree to update. So we strongly recommend uh, doing those and having users opt out instead of, um, you know, leaving it by default, which is not good. Um, so what we're able to do now is we are hoping, and I just rebased my Ubuntu image and the, all the NVIDIA images are now deriving from this main image. Uh, because due to the complexity of the NVIDIA packages that we had to make, because there's a bunch of them, base and NVIDIA had diverged. And it was just better to start a new thing in the middle and then diverge everything from those. So uh, over the past few days, uh, Josh has been working on doing that. So if you look at NVIDIA now, it's actually derived from... Uh, where Where is it? Where, where do we put this? One second. Uh, here it is, uh, image name dash main. See that instead of dash base. So now all of those improvements uh, that we make in a base on main, I'm sorry, um, we'll be able to go to the NVIDIA driver. So anytime there's a new heart, let's say there's a new kind of cool controller that comes out, we can just add that in main. And then that night when all the images build, they just all get that. Um, and then on, on top of that, this will also allow me to finally make an Ubuntu NVIDIA image because I'll be able to grab the stuff um, and, and make that happen. I've not done that yet though. And that's what I'm doing tonight actually. Um, so yeah, instead of, of one image called base, we have two, uh, we think it's important to keep configs separately for, you know, services, you'd have rules, uh, text files, you know, that's where we're going to put the text files. And then base is where we're going to put, uh, things that we want base main is going to be where we put things, uh, that we want that make more common sense for everybody to have on a base base image. And we're going to have templates so you can request packages to add the base image and you can make your argument because we're not going to shove the whole world in there. We're, we're all just going to try to make really, really great um, custom images. Um, and then included in main, this is, this is a cool thing uh, her made for us is a uh, kind of chart of how this works out for you. So, we start with the Fedora images. Those are on key.io. I learned how to learn how to pronounce that. Uh, and then we grab those and then there's our main again. I'll, we'll scratch out base here, uh, which is that opinionated base that we want. Um, and then if that's good enough for you that you're just like, Hey, I just want hardware enabled. I like Fedora. I just want all the hardware enablement and all that kind of stuff. The, um, hardware acceleration and all that kind of stuff. You could just grab that and, and use it directly, right? If you have an NVIDIA GPU, however, you'll grab one of the NVIDIA images uh, either directly or someone else can grab the NVIDIA image for each of these. Remember, this is for each desktop. So XFCE, GNOME, KDE. So we are building a lot of images. <laughs> um, so someone else could start from NVIDIA, give you the things that they want. This is here listed as tinkerers and generate those community built images and then you can use those amd we have hype oops oh, actually this works out amd here we have is hypothetical because if you have if you have an amd card you're just going to use one of the opinionated ones you don't need any of the nvidia stuff the nvidia stuff images will work on amd and intel uh, machines you'll just have all those extra drivers and stuff on disk and you probably don't want that but because the amd drivers and all that are in the kernel same with intel um uh, there's really no reason for us to make custom AMD images unless you're trying to do something like Rockam or something, uh, which is why we put hypothetically, if someone wanted to grab the closed source drivers, maybe you need it for something, uh, we can do that here. And we can do this for just about anything. So I hope this kind of explains what we're in, we're up to lately. Um, thanks so much for your interest and your passion around this. The, Image downloads are going through the roof. Now we have multiple thousands of downloads every day. So that's, that's amazing. Looking forward to have some of these be retired and uh, give you the good hot new stuff. So if you have any questions, as always pop a question below, do check out late night Linux, the podcast. Uh, I, I listen to every episode. Joe's a good friend. I love, I love his style, the low key kind of, let's just explain stuff. 
stuff that they do. So all, all of the shows that Joe makes are always on my to listen list. So if you're looking for a nice relaxed podcast to listen to, I highly recommend it. Leave a comment below and remember, tell a friend, submit this to Reddit, submit it to Hacker News. We're building something awesome here. If you have an NVIDIA card, you're not going to find a better experience. Like I'm, you know, before we were kind of hesitant about calling it that good, uh, but it's, it's standing the test of testing. <laughs> so I, some of you out there have some weird laptops. So let's see what you've got and let's see what we can do. And with that, have a good one. Thanks all.